Hello, I'm Six Hodel. Welcome to my channel and to this shave. Today's razor was very kindly sent to me by Mike over at Shields, all the way from China. And it's this one, the gorgeous stainless steel gem razor. Look at this handle. He polished it up very nicely. Uh, look at that. Look at that. In it, I do, of course, oh, I have some thumbprints here. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, no overhang, of course. It's gem blade. See, it fits in there. You see the back of the gem blade there. Fits in the, the, the ridge there on the back, so it does stick out. This is 120 grams, so it's almost double uh, of the 61 titanium uh, gem that he sent me a good while back. I, this was the first razor I got from him. I, I, I bought the AC razor with this handle and then he sent me this head. So it's exactly the same, has, has the same specs. 1.15 uh, millimeter gap and a, a point, uh, 12 millimeter of positive exposure. But look at this. Man, 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 I'm sorry about all the fingerprints, but that's what you get. The titanium is 61 and this is 120, so it's almost exactly double of the titanium. And I really, I really, really, really like this pattern on the handle and I really like the way he polished it up. Uh, man, so thank you. Thank you, Mike, for sending me that. The soap was very kindly sent to me uh, by Andy over at the wet shaving store. I ordered something else and then he very kindly put this Louis soap in it. So thank you Andy for sending me this. I really, really, really love the scent. It's like, uh, it's like the tobacco vanille from Tom Ford, but it has some, a little posh, a little cologne uh, thing theme going on to this is uh, a, a dupe of Joe Malone's uh, vetiver and golden vanilla so it shouldn't be the same scent as the Tom Ford um, uh, tobacco and vanilla and it's not because this has uh, some it, they are cousins I would say but this is a more posh cousin mind you uh, so Thank you, uh, Andy, for sending me the soap. I did order the splash afterwards from Andy's store and I used the code 6 solo 71 and got my 10% off because the code works for me too. <laughs> I didn't know that, but it did. So use the code 6 solo 71 and get your 10% off what you buy there. Not from PAA, not from Noble Order or Gentleman's Knot or it's written below and blades, but the rest, 10% off, nothing for me. The brush is this, the Hone brush, um, uh, the Hone B brush, and in it, I took a little of the soap out to show you. It has the faux, or the faux, as it's called in French, uh, horse knot in it. And to me, this reminds me very much of the cashmere knot. So this is just, if you like, uh, uh, an almost black cashmere knot. This is what I would go for. 24 millimeter. The ball was sent to me by Pete over at Pete. Uh, sorry, over at Hendrix Classics and Co. So thank you, Pete. Okay, there you have them together. Let's get this party started. Are you ready? And again, I apologize for my Greg Tardif, uh, Rudolph thingy here. And, and my, you know, it's just spring is upon us. So we have some days with almost uh, no uh, frost. Is you know, minus two, three. So, and a little sun and my skin thinks it's summer and then it's not because then it's mighty cold in the evening and stuff like that so as i recall 
the, the titanium gem razor from um, Mike, sorry, I almost said Pete there, is or was and is the only gem razor so far that's given me a great shave. Usually when I use a, a gem razor, uh, I struggle because the blade is so, so thick and I have so many small bumps and stuff on my face that you know, that I just cut, up, cut off. Oh, I hate this towel. Always fall down when I'm shooting at it. Man, man, man. Okay, so here you have it. Uh, 90 millimeters long, uh, 13 and a half millimeters thick. Stainless steel. And it's something has to do with the angle. I need to give it some more than usual. If I give it my usual angle, I will have too much blade feel and I will cut everything off. So I really have to remember that. And that's most likely what I did wrong with all the old vintage ones. That I've tried because they were not comfortable races or sh the shaves sorry nothing wrong with the racer only a poor craftsman craftsman ever blames his tools and that's the same with me my technique is just too poor I just give it a little less angle here to align yeah but this is smooth and no pressure is needed and this being 120 grams see I cut my bump there or my pimple or whatever you call it look like a teenager those pimples. Really doing my best not to press here because I know that this little line here of hairs are always causing me to press too much. So but I got the sit, so I buy a sit. This is nice, and this is actually the blade I used when I used the titanium razor. The titanium gem. So. The flatter the angle, the smoother the razor, and the more comfortable it glides. So. I'm not a gym expert, but it seems I might have to give some of the old gems another go and try to focus more on the angle because this was much more comfortable. A little weaver there and some soap off on my shirt. You know what? Let's just get this going oh I love this scent this was a collab or this is one of the um, shave that Facebook group soaps um, I have a couple the made man and the royal pine and this one and they've all been great great soap so in great sense Sense strength on this is 
6 out of 10. So that's something, isn't it? Okay, second pass. I'm feeling a little itch on the neck where I bleed, where you saw me bleed down here. So I must have cut something. But see when I make a very steep angle. Almost riding the cap. I tell you it feels much more comfortable. And I'm really focusing on not applying too much pressure because you know this is a heavy razor. A real heavy razor. And You need to trust it to do its, its thing, you might say. Because the soap is slick and the razor is working. So just steer, that's all that's needed here. And then under the nose, I Need to focus here. But it's really nice. So you see I'm concentrated there. I don't want to. Oh, I have a little beeble there. Yeah, but with my topography, you might see the bumpy roads, the much thi uh, thicker and unforgiving blade, uh, the gem blade, you know. My track record with them are not good, I tell you. Done a lot of shapes with them off camera to try and improve. But, you know, only the shield racers, the titanium one and now the steel one has been this comfortable. So, sorry about all the redness. So. HNC towel too. Ah, yeah. And then a new balm that I got. See, let's just give it a shake. It is of course the soap and the splash made by Master Soap Creations. Are you ready? Oh yeah, that's, that's such a nice sound. So it's witch hazel and rose water based. It doesn't have alcohol, but it has a lot of good food, you know, a lot of food stuff in it, skin food, that is. Man, this is nice, and I'm really turning red, so I apologize for that. So, but what? This is a nice, a nice scent. Not as, not as vanilla as the soap, has more of the other good stuff, vetiver and some posh spices. But let's have the sound test. Are you ready? That was wrong. Much better. Perfect mundo. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo. Out.